Bill Murray Demacy, Peps Pee Wee, uh, Nerd Puffy, Arrol, I think that's Katsudon, uh, Gub Gub Daryl versus Sailor Vimos, Capitan, Inkle Snack, Kato, Kalapati, Big Lem, Nessa, Leo, Nissan, and Poplio. So who do we have tonight? We have Peps, Daryl, Nerd, and Pee Wee playing for Calamari Damacy. And we have Inkle, Capitan, uh, Snack, and Nessa playing for Sailor Vimos tonight. <laughs> All good poetry? Rematch! Wait, is this? Have these... What is this a rematch from? Oh, at the Philippines land. Interesting. Okay. I'm... What, does anyone remember what the uh, scoreline was at the Philippines land? I'm not sure if getting that answer is a bit of a spoiler, but... I'm, I'm curious now. Challenging names. A little bit, yeah. Some of these are... A lot of the time I go to use um, Japanese pronunciation for things, and then I'm like, wait, no. Alright. Let's see if I can get these colours right. Green, green and purple? No, green and orange. That one. Do I have these teams right? Calamari's Demacy is green, Sailor Vimos is orange, that looks good. Let's go! Alright, what do we have? We have a Rapid Deco, uh, Brush, and Perry's and Blob Lobba versus Tenetek, Heavy Deco, Trislosha, and uh, those Julies. Dapples, that thing. Alright, looks like Ness is coming in here trying to help. Nice. Teammate mostly had that, but still the poison never hurts. Nice, black there. Ooh, and then immediately goes down again. Sailor Beamer is very getting some nice convincing splats very early on there. This blah blah blah. That is a bit dangerous. Oh, with the inkjet! Hang on, who is that inkjet? I want to see their point of view. Alright, Inkhole's doing some very good work here. Having a bit of trouble tracking down. Nice, does manage to get peps. Lands into the rain though, which could be rather dangerous. Oh, nice, gets that splat. That brush is going to be a problem though. Especially against that wall. I hate being against the wall like that. It makes it quite a bit harder to uh, aim. Alright, I think that brush must have a... Uh... Yes. They've dropped Roller, so that definitely helped a little bit there in getting out of that situation. Ooh, but that's the Hydra coming in the top there, holding that top. Still very green at the moment though, nice. Oh, but look straight into the Hydra there. Hydra versus Inkjet, that's got an interesting one. Nice work there. Bit of uh, tap shotting just to make sure that they could move nicely around that. Very well done. We have the Inkjet going into the base again over that uh, drop. Good play that. All right, what do we got? We have this blaster coming in from the side here. Inkle's doing some good work, gets one. Are they gonna be able to get the second one here? A bit low on health, so might, yeah, it does go down to Kiwi with the blob blobber. All right, nice, double. All right, they're going after the Hydra. Nice work there, that was a bit of a, a bit of a pincer move there as well. Both teams seem to be doing that a bit tonight. It's very nice to see. Oh, that was unfortunate though. Oh, now this Hydra. That, yeah, Hydra versus Rapid, especially with that uh, balloon in the way, it was gonna be really annoying. Balloon pillow, that thing. Oh, nice direct. All right, so we've got this Rapid just kind of holding this at the end at the moment. Bit of a uh, teamwork there with the nerd? Yes. All right, we've got a rain coming through, but this is counting down very quickly. Calamari Damacy is gonna get this lead very soon if uh, Sailor Vimos aren't careful. Oh, we've got the Tenetech coming in. Nice work by Inkle there. They should be up. Yes, nice cap. All right, I think someone else. Yes, Nessa was also coming in there as well, helping out with that uh, push. Oh, that Inkjet. It's nice movement by the Inkjet there, jeez. Is the Emperors? Yes. Alright, so they're pushing up now. Emperors versus Tenetech. That goes about the way you'd expect it. Oh, alright. Pushes up but runs into the Trislosher and the Hydra, but the Trislosher goes down. Capitan's got to be pretty careful here. It does have armor, but teammates are down at the moment. Alright, teammates are back up. That is the lead to Calamari Damacy, though. So we'll just see 
These walls are... Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, using armor there, unfortunately, was not enough to save. But, uh, in fact, might have been what got on the there. But anyway, nice work by Peps. Nice direct there. That was an interesting marker, but this looks like this might be game. Yep, there we go. All right. Apparently Katie beat SV last time. Okay. SV and Katie had some good battles. All right, so this might be, uh, this might be a bit close. All right, so that was first game to Calamari Damacy. Ooh, Bobby's being a bit slow. Should be fine. Was that a mass DC? Did we, we didn't have mass DCs during the game, did we? Oh, okay. Someone had to disappear for a minute. That's why. All right. No. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it was DCs. All right, we've got a minute to kill, apparently. That's fine. Oh, how has everyone been uh, enjoying this week, for those who played? These maps were a bit rough, weren't they? <laughs> uh, I remember looking through the map list at the start of uh, season. I was like, geez, Nico. <laughs> this, is, this is not the worst, but some of these are pretty rough. The TC must uh TC Turf War Muscle Forge. Uh when we played that last night, we were not enjoying that at all, to be honest. Like, of all the Turf War maps, it's just so messy. Like, where do you go? Like, you just you either charge into mid and then everyone's in mid and you probably gonna at least trade out. Or you try start trying to sneak around the sides, but there's basically always someone flanking through your plat or your trench or whatever and you run into people and if anyone's in mid they've got height advantage it's oh that was yeah that was a bit painful and then that followed by tc more like ah why <laughs> should have been and should be at the start i think we put it at the end particularly because it's a um new map and we wanted less people to get to it but i suppose for nine nine game matches. So uh, it's a little bit rough. Like the mess apart from clams on world. That is chaos. Yeah. We uh we did a stupid thing in our match last night. We managed to get three clams right at the end and then we all went down with them. It was like yep. Yep. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> but oh, I'm managing to mistype passwords. Um just count on columns? Yes, just me for tonight, since it was organized really, really quickly. Um, ah, every time I switch to Discord, I gotta switch all my stuff back and remember not to miss anything. Um, yeah, now I'm trying to remember what the uh, the next set is. Because we have them all. They're all in a list somewhere. Nico made them all at the start of... Um... Oh, actually, I don't even need to do that, do I? Doing the editions last minute stream. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I was like, I was looking at it and I pinged everyone to ask if anyone else wanted to do it. And I'm like, I was gonna go to bed, but I'm probably not actually gonna sleep at this point, so yeah. Oh no, we don't actually have the next lot of maps in here yet. Right, four no dude. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> It's just because I was nagging her. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah, I actually, because I normally stream Sunday nights, which is one of the reasons I don't tend to do Oceanic streams Sunday nights, but I did a really short stream tonight because uh, I was just finishing off Kirby. So, that is a really interesting boss fight, by the way. <laughs> what on earth was Nintendo thinking? But yeah, that took me like an hour and a half, so I haven't streamed much tonight. I was like, yeah, I can do a bit more. 
Anyway, it doesn't say occasion. You sick, my fair? No! I think I'm coming down with something too, so I'm starting to wonder if something's going around, but that sucks. It's like, it's just, it's the second day of spring. I want to enjoy spring. I don't want to be sick. It was so nice out today, wandering the city with all the um, Splatoon people. <laughs> A stupid nose. Yeah, fair enough. Odorant comes when. Yeah, we need to drag Odorant sometime. <laughs> Get the crud out of the way before packs. Yeah, that's true. Oh, PAX is a month away? I'm so keen. I finally booked time off for it on Friday. So, oop, overlays, overlays. Need to remember. All right. We are going to Clam Blitz Camp Triggerfish. That is a power armor. And that is a Glucus. All right. This is uh, interesting. All right, so we have an Exposure, a Blob Lobber, a Brush, and an Emperor's versus a ballpoint and Perry's Glugas and Trisloshes. So I'm gonna go watch Nerd here because Nerd's coming around the side here, run into this ballpoint. Are they gonna be able to get the ballpoint? No, but does manage to uh, keep someone back. Oh, nice. Oh, I think they're just trying to get up there and get that. Oh, nice. Nice work, all right. Oh, that works. Uh, they do have 14, that's Clam, Ari Demacy that is, does have 14 clams right now. And now they're down to 10. I think the brush went down with a few, unfortunately. This could be dangerous. Try slaughter above you is not something you particularly want. Okay, there we go. Well, we got a trade. So that's something. Who has the ball right now? Oh, Peps does. All right. Let's see, Peps is sort of staying back a bit at the moment, I think. Team is trying to make a path. No, team's still trying to get in. Inkle's over on the side here. Peps is trying to help out with that. There we go, does manage to get that. All right, Calamari Demacy aren't really pushing it at the moment. They're just like, here we go. Now we've got the push. All right, this brush is trying to stay here for a bit. So this get some sneaky splats. Oh, wow, that tri with that movement. Nicely done there. Unfortunately, they do mostly go down and... Okay, no. Oh, nice move from the side, but I think this is going to be a ball. Yep, okay, nice ball. Doesn't end up using it, but probably a good idea to put it there, although teammates do go down, unfortunately. Nice work by Capitan. We do have someone up on the roof here. Nicely done. That's often a very good choice. Gets quite a few in, actually. Very nicely played there. All right, we're down to 68. I think that is the end of that push. So Sailor Vimos is just trying to get some paint down at the moment. Oh, Capadon's pretty good with these angles here. Just shooting over things and using that ball off to get the splats. Very nicely done. Can Capadon get the... No, can't get the uh, close range fight, unfortunately. It is one of the things ball point can manage, but... Yeah, not quite able to there. Nerd knows exactly where this person on the ball is here. Just waiting for them to show themselves. Nicely done. All right. Oh, it gets the double. Nice. All right, this should be a push. Teammates are coming in at the moment. Nerd's just getting some paint down so they can protect from the side. Probably, yep. Is using the, yeah, the inkjet. Unfortunately, I think that was a little bit too late to be, uh, truly safe. Probably if they popped out a second earlier and just gone, uh, gone straight for a few splats, they might have survived that one. But, uh, unfortunately they didn't. But anyway, that is the end of that push. 37 points, pretty nice. Sailor Vimos have two minutes now left to uh, get any pushes in. All right, oh, nice work there by Snack getting that uh, splat over the wall there. All right, bit of teamwork, nice. This rain is coming in though, and Snack's very low on health. We do have a baller going in though, but I don't think Ness is gonna be able to make anything of it. That was unfortunate. All right, Ness trying to get out at the moment, get these uh, points. Uh, clams. They do have 21 clams right- 27 clams right now. Jeez. Alright, Inkle's trying to get in. Does go down. That was a bit unfortunate. Snake's sitting here with 9 though. Should be able to get some lights one in. Nicely done. Alright, and gets the splat. And is safe. Alright, teammates come in. And gets that one as well. Well done. Alright, if they can just keep it open, the teammates can come in. Alright, how are we going on the map? Inkle has come in, but does unfortunately go down. We've got Nessa. No, unfortunately, Capitan goes in and Nessus had to retreat. 
All right. Oh, nice inkjet. All right. Well done there. All right, we've got the bubbles coming in. Oh, wow, the double. Nicely done there, Peps. All right, they're going up these stairs. Oh, but that's go down. Nice flank. All right. And that is game. Jeez, all right. Did I just see a substrate? Possibly. Oh, there's a lot better than that online play. All right, nice to done two calamari damacy again. That one. Yeah, <laughs> not dip five images. I've tipped two three. Yeah, I think I don't think either of these teams played in the um, seeding tournament because they're both new teams this season and neither of them played in the seeding tournament and that's why we uh we had no idea where to put them to be honest. So, but yeah, they're definitely doing very well. I'm not sure I've seen either of these teams before, so it's interesting watching them for the first time, seeing what they're capable of. <laughs> Robot here. Yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> anyway, we have Teflor Muscle Forge. Yeah, I was saying before, I, I'm not a fan of this, purely because it's so sectioned off. And for Turf, where you're trying to paint the entire map, I find I at least end, to end up... Uh, like focusing on one or two areas and then the other team will be focusing on different areas and then you end up either like not running into someone for half the game or running into people constantly because you're either picking an area that the other team doesn't care about or you're picking an area that the other team is trying to get. So... I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. There's a lot of maps in turf where you can sort of just start at your base and sort of roll across the map and take turf. Um, Arawan is the first one that comes to mind, maybe Walleye. I guess they're like both long thin maps, but like still it's the same thing where you just, you sort of take your spawn and then on your way in you get a bit more of the map, but then someone takes mid and then you ink a bit more, like someone gets splattered and inks a bit more on their way in and you just kind of roll across the map can't really do that on this one. So this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. <laughs> do, um, do big hats still affect hitboxes? I can spot one. All right, what do we got? We have Julius Squelches, ends up Tanatech and Emperies versus Custom Hydra again. Uh, Tanatech, the other Julie things and Triceloch and Navarre. So interesting comps. That Hydra could cause a lot of problems. So we'll have to see how it goes. Alright, we've got a Bomb Rush coming out. Looks like Ness is just sort of seizing that to turf a bit at the moment. Does run straight into the uh, Julie Squelchers. Manny doesn't avoid that. Nice dodge roll there. Ooh, does have two people behind though. Ooh, nice work by the teammate up there. I get the feeling that might be cool. Nice! Nice flat onto Peps there. Alright, that is currently three down on uh, Calamari Damacy. So, Nerd is trying to get around these sides here, get a better turf down. Does have Inkjet. Oh, we have an Inkjet battle. Yep. Oh, wow! Nice work by Nerd. Alright, Calamari Damacy has come back in and they're taking a lot of turf very quickly. Look at this map. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, Sailor Vimos are going to have to paint their map if they want to get enough points on this. Because right now... Calamari Damacy are uh, winning partly just because they have their map painted. They have Swarm painted, sorry. And they do have the rest of the map as well, so... Sailor Vimos are going to have to get a nice push in. That Custom Hydra is doing some good work here, just putting the pressure down. If, uh, this... Oh, we do have two people here coming in. They have the armor that Triceloch has unfortunately lost it. it. Does go down to the Inkjet. Someone else trades out there, but the Hydra gets the splat. Nicely done. All right, that's three down on Calamari Damacy again. If Sailor Vimos can capitalize on this, they might do. They might get a win in this one. There's only a minute left, so there's less and less time for uh, Calamari Damacy to get the map back. All right, we got the armor coming out. 
Oh, nice work. Bit of teamwork there, I think, to get that. Uh, Alright, Snake's having a bit of trouble here. Gets the rain out. Nice. Nice. Nice teamwork again. Alright, we've got the uh, rain out for Calamari Damacy now. They do have quite a bit of this map painted at the moment, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Depending, depends who you're uh, betting on. <laughs> Nice work. I think that was a bit of the Hydra there. Oh, need some health though. Unfortunately, they go down, and that's two down on both teams at the moment. And this is very purple. I'm not sure Nessa and uh, Inkle are going to be able to get in in time to do anything about this. Peely's pushing up into the other team's base. Oh, Inkle is in mid, getting quite a bit of paint down, but they're pinning right behind them. Mm. So Elevimo still have quite a bit unpainted in their base as well. That could be a problem. Yeah, 48-42. That was close. Like, Sailor Vimo's had that a couple of times. They just weren't quite able to keep control. So, 11 splats on Capitan there. Very nicely done. We forgot what amount he had, so I'd never use it. <laughs> oh, dear. When I'm painting to charge specials up to get part of yeah, like that's useful early on in the game, but uh, once you get a couple of minutes in, you want to start painting that base. So, like even if you just paint a little bit on your way out every time you leave spawn, eventually it all gets painted. <laughs> Alright, welcome to everyone who's joining us. I can't see how many people are joining us right now, but uh, welcome to everyone. It is a very impromptu last minute, kind of late match, but this is fine. None of us like sleep, right? That's, we were all squids before sleep. That's how this works, yeah? <laughs> all right, tower control more, eh? What is people's strategy for this? Cause I, I'm terrible at it and I know I'm terrible at it. So actually when Riptide was, uh, it was sort of planning briefly before the game. I was like, I'm playing NZAP and I'm sitting on the tower the whole time. <laughs> it's like, that is, that is literally my strategy is I'm gonna sit on the tower and my teammates are gonna do stuff because like most of my teammates are pretty good at uh, either aggro play or flanks or both, which yeah. And so therefore they're often a lot more suited than me to actually pushing up and getting turf on this map. Whereas I'm more of a slowly roll across the map type and that doesn't work very well on here. So especially the tower control when you need to get up onto the other team, snipe, overlook, anywhere and everywhere you can to get some control. So, all right, How we, what do we got? We have a heavy slosher deco brush and emperies versus a heavy deco. Uh, custom blaster, the other, Tetris, the white light Tetris, that one, and Blue Julies. I can't remember names right now. This is fine. Anyway, all right, Ness is keeping an eye on this bucket right here. Might have some trouble. Buckets have a bit of an advantage on this map in general. Um, yeah, it does decide to pull back, but runs straight into the brush. Those, oh, those Julies just managing to get a few splats there, and then Inkle comes in with the blaster, and they manage to get it between them. Nicely done. All right, we have the uh, chicken rush coming out, but there's also a ball up. Nice rolling. All right, does manage to trade. Well done there. All right, it's Capitan up the top here, just holding, holding uh, overlook here. Unfortunately, it has the yeah the missiles are going to cause a bit of havoc. Oh, two people go down to the missiles. I think that was unfortunate. One of the problems with this map is that some of the parts of it are very pokey and if the other team has missiles or anything like that or bubbles um you can get quite a few splats with it just because people can't dodge oh that might be a bit risky i don't know does decide to get out someone else jumped out just then interesting what do we got all right we got nessa coming in right now but does have the missiles in might no it does manage to dodge out of that Nerd coming in with the inkjet. Nerd has been very good with that so far. So Nerd does go down to the heavy. 
All right, we have a heavy on tower right now. Capitan's going nice. We have the baller coming out. Does manage to get snacks. We have bucket versus heavy right now. Heavy wins that one. Jumps coming in, but Daryl is still pushing the tower. All right, Ness is coming in from the side here. Nice. Does manage to get that splat. Manages to get peps as well. Nerd is coming in though. So is Ness going to be able to get the triple? No, but Snack is coming in from the top here to help out. That tower is still pushing though because they just keep jumping to it and that is game. Oh boy. All oh right, colors. Yes, thank you. I haven't been doing that the whole time, to be honest. <laughs> that is one too many things for me to remember how to do. Well, that was a convincing win. Splats are fairly even though. So it's uh, not special. All these specials. If you look at the specials, Kalamari Damacy had a lot more specials there. Alright. Yeah, that was really well played by Kalamari Damacy. I'm actually going to watch that back later, I think. Because I'm not quite sure what they did except for just keeping the pressure up. I didn't check gear, but I think quite a few of them might have had quick super jump. Because um, they were just constantly jumping back into that tower. So... Definitely a good way to, uh, definitely a good way to play that map. <laughs> Katie should be Div 3. Yeah, I'm starting to think that. We'll have to see, we'll have to see if we can get them to do some challenge matches at the end of this season. And, uh, try and work out where they play a bit better. It's really unfortunate that they weren't able to do the, um, seeding tournament or anything. Because, yeah, we really had no idea. I think we asked a few of the... Um, Southeast Asia players that we knew, if they had any ideas. But yeah, unfortunately we just weren't able to figure that one out properly. Anyway, yes, here's us right, we do have Humpback Rainmaker next. Um... <laughs> Mesh, are you cheering for Sailor Beamers, are you? <laughs> oh dear. They're, uh, looks like they're conferring over weapons quite a bit right now. KD are almost locked in, but Sailor Beamers are, uh, taking a while. Could see uh, something interesting here, perhaps? I'm, I'm expecting to see bubbles again, most likely. I'm expecting to see maybe a Stingray? Um, apart from that, honestly not sure. Oof. We're going to full time on the weapon screen there. All right. I'm expecting something quite interesting out of Sailor Beam Rose right now. They <laughs> cheer for game nine. Yep. Reverse sweep. That's what we want, right? <laughs> All right. Rainmaker Humpback Pump Track. What have we got? All right. So, KD, we have Explosion, Slosher Deco, Brush, and M Perries, and Sailor Beam Rose. We have Ballpoint, M Perries. Light, uh, Tetras and Dapple Navo. All right, what do we got? Snake is very good at evading that brush right there. All right, that's an early, uh, possibly an early push to Sailor Beamers early. Yeah, unfortunately they didn't deal with that. Uh, was it Slosher? It was off to the far side, and they did go down to it. Oh, that was unfortunate. I think it was a bit of a. Uh, a problem with the hills there that just went into that. Alright, we got Capitan with the Rainmaker right now. Is having some trouble with this Slosher? Might be able to get it. Oh, but does fall down. And as usual, being downhill of a Slosher is not a good idea. Oh dear. Yeah, that was... They just got completely... Um, surrounded there. And that remake is now in a really bad position for Sailor Vimos. Cal Calamari Damacy could just grab this and run. Oh, and here we go. We have the baller coming in. Alright, nice stop there by Capitan, I think. It's gonna run straight into Daryl, who unfortunately gets that splat. Snakes had to fall down here. They do have the beacons as well, so it's... Kiwi and Nerd mostly have this at the moment. Inkle has gone out to mid, which was probably a very poor choice, unfortunately. Capitan gets that splat, but goes down. Still probably worth it. And Snake goes down to the pop, and I think... That's game. Jeez, okay. 
Yeah, that was a really unfortunate play that if you retreat into that corner and you don't get over the wall, the Rainmaker's just in such a bad position. Like, you just... The other team gets it, you're in a lot of trouble. So... Mm, that was just an unfortunate play. So I'm afraid that is the end of that. 5-0 uh, to Calamari Damacy. Very well done there. Sailor Vimo has had some very nice plays in some of those games. A couple of those were quite close. The Turf War Muscle Forge particularly. But unfortunately just... Calamari Damacy are good. <laughs> I really actually want to see them play against some of the higher dip teams now. And just see how they go. Because... That'd be quite an interesting matchup. Um, but, yeah, alright. That's another match for the week. Um, it is Sunday, so the next week starts tomorrow. It is a break week for most of the teams. I think we only have Div 6 has matches tomorrow, the next week. Um, just going to quickly check that. Yes, Div 6 is the only team, only Div who have week 4 matches. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, everyone else has a week off unless you have deferments that you want to do, in which case we'll uh, we'll be trying to stream as many of the deferred games as we can in this week. That'll be good. Um, but yeah, enjoy your week off if you have a week off. Good luck, have fun if you have matches. And thanks for watching everyone. Have a good night. See you next time. Bye!